Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created these images using this, a brand new flash from Sony, the F28RM. I had this F28RM mounted on camera, I repeat, on camera on my A7C with a kit lens. So what is this Sony F28RM? Basically, this is a new compact flash from Sony with a guide number of 28. So what does that mean? Basically, this is a very powerful flash in such a small body. And not just that, it has all the features that you would find in its big brothers like high-speed sync. It has a built-in receiver also, meaning you could connect this to all the other flash units like the F45RM or the F60. And when you put it on top of your camera, you will be able to access everything. So what I'm showing you now are the flash controls that are built in the menu system of the Sony cameras. This one comes out the moment you put on the flash on the hot shoe, the multi-user interface. So this F28 also serves as a commander. In other words, you can actually control other flash units like the F45RM and F60RM. So you also have an option for high-speed sync. This small flash can actually do high-speed sync. And you've got the ability to control multiple flashes and multiple groups in order to control, as I said earlier, the different flash units of Sony, like the F45, the F60, or another F28RM. So, as I said in the intro, I actually want to show you guys the potential of this compact and tiny system, this small flash, small camera, and small lens, in order for you to be able to take good portraits using flash, even if it's just on camera. So, let's get to the demo. Okay, so I have my kit lens set at 50 millimeter. Then my settings are set at 1 over 60 f5.6 ISO 400. I will explain everything later, but first of all, let's say hello to my wife Coco, who will be our model again today. And as you can see, I actually have my flash already mounted on the camera facing towards this direction. And I have a foam board here and here. Now, the reason why I have that is because this wall is not entirely white. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be using this entire thing in order to make my light bigger and create a nice softer light. I have my foam board here because I wanted actually to direct some light towards it so that it gives directionality to the light. Now, I will show you guys two possible ways for you to be able to use this. One by actually facing this side and another one by facing this wall. Now, I honestly don't really need to put a foam board here on the left side. But since it's a door, it's best to put another white foam board there just for me to, to be able to control, again, the directionality of light. So you guys will see it once we start shooting. As I said earlier, I set my camera to 1 over 160 f5.6 ISO 400. Now, if I turn off my flash, you will see that the actual exposure is almost pitch black. Well, actually, right now we're pitch black. We're getting a little bit of light leak from the video light, but that's, that doesn't really affect the image anymore. So when I turn on my flash, it will automatically turn off live view. Therefore, you could see the scene that I am actually shooting. Okay, so the last thing that we have to do before we actually start shooting is set our white balance. So my white balance now is set on auto white balance, but I think I will set it to 5600 Kelvin, which is approximately the color temperature of this flash. Okay, so I guess we can start shooting. Okay, babe, let's get into one pose. Can you move forward a bit, please? There we go. Oh, sorry, move back. Okay, all right. One, two, three. Very nice. So right now my flash is facing towards this direction and it's bouncing light off this foam board and the walls and everything else that's white and just flooding Coco with light. Now, let's take a few more shots with this particular light setup. Very nice. Can you cross your legs a little bit more? There. Very nice. Good, good. I like that. It's actually a very nice image already, personally, but I think I want a little bit more contrast. So, how do I create shadows on the other side or the short side of Coco's face? I will now direct this flash to hit this foam board if this foam board, if this entire wall was white, I honestly wouldn't really need this foam board anymore. So 
but but since I am directly in line with a door, with a brown door, I just decided to put a foam board there. And at the same time, I can actually direct the light. Okay, so now that I have this light facing this foam board, let's see what will happen now. There we go. So now we're adding a little bit more contrast on the face of Coco. Now, you know, to be honest, I like both layouts. So let me know in the comment section below which layout you actually like better. But for this one, I think we'll play around with this slide first. Okay. All right. So let's get some movement in. So you guys can see the A7C is fantastic. I actually am depressing the AF on button in the back. And you'll see that um, it's just tracking her eye. So even if we do some movement shots now. Okay, let's try doing one. So on the count of three, on the count of three, just take one step forward, okay? All right. On the count, step forward going here, but looking towards this area, okay? All right, on the count. One, two, three, go. Oh, how nice. Maybe somewhere here instead of there, okay? On the count. One, two, three, go. Very nice. Okay, so that's the one with light coming from this one. Let's shift back now to light coming from this particular area and see how it goes. Okay, let's do some movement shots again. All right, on the count. One, two, three. Very nice. I have to, you know, personally, I think I like this layout better or this light pattern better. Okay, one, two, go. Very nice. You know what? One of the reasons on why I love this combination also is because it's so light, it's so easy for me to just shoot with one hand. Maybe you could move forward now. And get into a pose maybe here. There, perfect, I like that. Good, face me a bit. Oh, I like that, I like that a lot. So let's shift back again to this light to my light facing this general direction to get more contrast on the face. Okay. Beautiful. Now for this one, I think I like this light better. Honestly, guys, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Okay. So, and that is the reason on why I love this combination so much. This F28RM is so small and this A7C with a kit lens is so light that put together, it's very easy for me to take images like this anywhere I go. So if I had a room that had all white walls, to be honest, the images might even turn out better if I had a white wall behind me too. So there are so many ways for you guys to be able to experiment even with just on camera flash. What you could do is you could actually tilt it going back also and having frontal lighting. The only thing that you have to remember is if you want soft light, you have to be able to make this light source bigger and bouncing off walls or reflectors or anything that's white or, or reflective will be your best bet. In order for you guys to create beautiful soft light with just an on-camera flash. Okay, till the next video.